In this clip, we're going to learn about read nodes. So Nuke's read nodes are like After Effects layers and project panel combined. So what do I mean by that? Well, this is a read node in Nuke. And then right next to it, I have a little screenshot of the properties bin. So in Nuke, whenever we have a read node, it brings in an outside file or information, you're bringing in something externally to Nuke and it's housed inside of the node. Now, when I want to manipulate information about that, like maybe the frame range or the color space or um, something like that, that's going to happen over in the properties bin. So I would just open the read node and it would open in the properties bin. Now everything is controlled by nodes, remember. So if I have something like a node that allows me to move things around, I can also open that node in the properties bin as well. So that's always going to come up over here. Now in After Effects, we've got layers and our project panel. So it's a little bit different. Now, read nodes in Nuke contain the footage or image and the settings for it can be manipulated in the properties bin, right? Now, an After Effects has layers and the project panel and the layers contain the image, but the manipulation of that image's settings happen in the project panel. So, for instance, if I want to change the interpolation of a sequence of footage or if I want the footage to loop, I would do that in the project panel in After Effects. Um, so it, you can kind of think of them the same way where a node is sort of like a layer and the project panel is kind of like the properties bin. Now let's jump into Nuke and actually create some read nodes. Okay, so there's a couple of ways I can go about creating a read node in Nuke. There's actually three different ways. Um, there's two ways I can do it from here in the node graph. So one is just to hover over the node graph area, hit the R key, and it's going to bring up a browse window basically. Now, currently, I am navigated to my desktop where I have our materials folder and the reference files folder. And this is what I'd like to read in. So I have this girl in the field folder with a sequence, a PNG sequence. So let's select that and go ahead and open it up. Now I've created a read node that contains my footage and then automatically when that was created, it opened up this read node in my property spin. And you can see a few of the settings we have for that. A few different tabs of all, you know, ways you can control it. Now, there is another way that I can create a read node as well, instead of just hitting the R key. And this is really a great way to create any node inside of Nuke. If you already know the name of it, hover over the node graph area, hit the tab key, and then I can actually type in the word read. Now you'll also notice that before I even typed anything, it was the first node to come up because it's so common. Now there's also this other type of read node, which we'll get into later in this course. Um, but for now, we just want a regular read node. So when I click that, it opens up that same browse file. Now I'm going to go up a directory by clicking this little up green arrow. And let's bring in our robot EXR file this time. Go ahead and open that. And you can see we have another read node now. And a second read node has been opened automatically in our property spin. Now, sometimes you may not want to have all of these open and you can individually click the little X here in the corner. And when you want to open back up a read node over here, just simply double click a node. Now, if I want to clear both of these at the same time, or if I had more than two, I can click this little button right here and clear out that property spin. Now, there's one final way to create a read node and that's by actually coming over here to the side. And this is actually where pretty much all of our nodes inside of Nuke live. And they just are kind of organized in all of these different little menus. So I'm gonna choose the read node here at the top 
And then I, again, do the same thing where I can just select one of those. So that's a great way to do it if you maybe don't know the exact name of a node you need, but you kind of know what you need to do. A lot of times, nodes in Nuke have very descriptive names. So you can kind of look down through um, some of these different buttons and find maybe the one that you're looking for. So I'm going to delete that one because we just did the same one over again. So now we've created a couple of read nodes and we've learned all the different ways you can create read nodes in Nuke. And we've also figured out how we can open those read nodes or how they're automatically open in the properties bin. And the last thing I want to show you is how to view one of these read nodes. And all I have to do is select uh, this little arrow that's coming off of the viewer by left clicking and dragging it up to one of those. And this is how we'll be viewing all of our footage inside of Nuke is through this little viewer. Now, right now, I can only view these read nodes one at a time. So let's jump into our next lesson where I'll talk about merge nodes and we'll learn how we can put these things together and then view the result of that merge.